Hello my friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. It is Monday morning. It's a little after 7 and yeah, we are just getting the ball rolling today. I am still off of work and lots of things happening. Be patient with me today. I am filming on a new camera, so we'll see how it goes. My skin is feeling super good. It was a little irritated last night from the dermaplane, but I put on a mask and like it's feeling better. These have also cleared up. I should probably stop touching them. But filming on a new camera because I like my other ones that I've been using, but just wanted to give this one a little spin. This one is the Sony Z something or other. I'll show you what I normally film on. My camera collection is kind of immense. There's probably three or four more cameras up here. But for videos that I'm just like vlogging, I haven't done a sit down video in ages. We may have to bring those back in 2025. Um, I had been using this little Canon camera. I'll link these below because I have liked both of them. This one has a nice wide angle lens. I forget what this one was called. The PowerShot V10. So if you are starting out with vlogging, this is actually really nice. What else is really cool about this one is it has a little pivot stand so you can stand it up. This is nice if you're going out in public and you don't want to take a big camera. I might actually take this one with me on Friday. And then the good and trusty Canon Z7X, like every vlogger has used that camera and a lot of them are still using it. But I wanted to give this Sony a try. But this one, the screen is on the side, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like it to be above the camera. Um, this is not my first Sony, although I always end up going back to Canon. I had this Sony RX 1000 something or other. Super nice camera, a little pricey, but really love that one too. But like to switch it up, like to get different frames, and this is a fun one. So today's agenda is really kind of open. We might go explore some things. And we might, we have to start doing some packing today. Like literally start doing some packing. Steven and I talked about it last night. I gotta get like a couple things done that feels good. He has cleaned out his office one more time and then I've cleaned out mine. What's really nice is we did a huge purge when we moved from New York to North Carolina and got rid of a lot of stuff. And right now I think is the perfect time for us to say like, since we moved, this is still stuff we haven't touched or used, so let's get rid of it. Nespresso gets such a nice foam on their coffee. Um, the espresso that I had yesterday had a really nice crema on it. All right. We, I want to try this. This is definitely not like a barista. I will tell you this right now. Um, it's not like the barista oat milk from oh, Oatly. Um, it is definitely thinner. So I added a little extra. I am in love with this mug. Kat Ashmore from Cat Can Cook. I love her. I saw her with this mug and I researched a cabbage leaf mug until I find it. All right, let's see how this is. It's delicious. It's actually stronger than I thought. So go and get this Good & Gather oat milk toffee. I might have to go get another one today just so I have it for backup. It's really, really good. All right. I am going to enjoy some coffee. Steven is getting ready for work, and then you and I will catch up. We have a dilemma. Yesterday, I forgot to hide Martha on the mantle, so I was like, oh, I'll do it today. 
I don't know if Steven hit her, but I cannot find Martha Stewart. I have zero idea where she is. Oh no, Martha's missing. All right, I'm gonna try to see if I can locate her. The crisis is over. Martha has been located and Martha is currently hidden. I am just going around and picking up a little bit. I feel like with everything going on, like the house has gotten a little out of disarray. So yesterday I did the floors and now today I'm doing some cleaning. Uh, was asked about the ribbon on the tree. So I thought I would go ahead and talk to you about ribbon. Ribbon is something that the more you do it, the better you will get with it. So let me show you exactly how I do it. I used a lot of ribbon on this tree this year. This is about probably one and a half spools. I'm going to see like where the easiest spot to tell you. Okay, I, I know where we're gonna start. All right, so here's the deal. People sometimes are afraid to cut their ribbon, A, because it's expensive, B, because you wanna reuse it. Here's the deal. You can always make ribbon look like one continuous piece because in this tree, you would never know that I actually cut these into three foot sections and some are longer. For example, this one is much longer. This is probably four feet. So what you do is you find an anchoring spot and then I let the ribbon fall and then start tucking it in. So you always want a wired ribbon because you can shape it. And then you find a point where you're happy with this natural curve and you anchor it again. Then you do a loop, shaping it as you go. And I anchored it in here. Then I brought it down, did another loop, anchored it and then brought it down. And then I like to do like a little S curve with my ribbon at the end and curl up the tail. This one just so happens to have like a beautiful gold underneath, but sometimes you can find like multiple printed ones and then just curled it. But that's all I did. And when you work with it all on a spool, it gets completely overwhelming. But if you do it in small pieces, then you can just anchor it, loop anchor it. And then what I like to do is I go back in once it's anchored, oops, and I like pop it out and curve it and shape it then. So you can get more of a poof. See how like some of those are like indented in? You can go in and reshape it. Let me see. So like see where that one's dented? You could come in and pop it back out and then curve them as you need. But that's how I work with my ribbon. Do it in small pieces, let it kind of naturally fall. And don't overcomplicate it. But the smaller pieces are easier to work with. And if you wanna use it in a garland next year, you could still loop them and anchor them in a way that it still looks like one continuous ribbon. The only difference is, is I fishtailed a lot of these, so that will present a little bit more of a challenge with that, but I can always just anchor that in as well. You can never have too many fishtails. And I like that look because then it looks all woven in, so there are fishtails throughout little sections. And I feel like pictures never do it as much justice as it does in person. And then over on my mantle, I literally didn't even bother with bows. I just bunched up two rows and then curled it with like an S shape at the bottom and then just layered a non-wired grow grain ribbon on top of it. I like that simplistic look. I don't love big bows everywhere, like the big ribbon bows. That's just not my thing. I clearly have large bows everywhere, but I don't like the big loopy bows. So I like this much more streamlined ribbon grouping. So there you go. But we'll probably be decorating a tree at the new house anyway. 
we will definitely be putting up another tree in the new house. So we will have another opportunity to decorate and I'll share that all with you. Alrighty, I am gonna go get dressed and probably take Mabel for a little walk. The errands have been ran and we are home. Um, this bag from Target just has a bunch of New Year's Eve decorations. So the goal is for us to be completely moved in, which we will be. I'm hosting New Year's Eve. My sister is hosting Christmas Eve and my mom and dad are hosting Christmas Day. That's how we broke it up and I hosted Halloween. So went to my favorite store, Paper Skyscraper. It's on East Boulevard here in the city, really close to our house. And it's just one of my favorites. And I loved it when we lived here previously. They had the Nutcracker Rifle Paper Company wrapping paper. Does anyone else experience this? I feel like the wrapping paper game this year is real weak. Target, I couldn't find anything I liked. I thought their selection wasn't that great. So went there, found what I wanted, loved it. Honestly though, I'm not exchanging many gifts. So I even only bought two bows because I just don't think I will have that many gifts to do. Then they had like their little seasonal foods out. So this is a local company called Poppy. So I bought the Poppy Salted Caramel Reindeer Crunch and, and, um, and the Poppy Mix. I thought those would be good for if my parents swing by or company to have in the pantry to set out. I also got two little tins of fudge for that same reason. And then I stocked up on my favorite Times Fraser for air fresheners. So grab those as well. I was unable to get to a small business on Saturday, so we did it today. I also swung by Lowe's to get a planter because I have a little DIY coming up as soon as we get into the new house. Mabel is outside. I'm going to get settled in and comfy clothes, get a workout in a little bit later today. All the things are happening on Vlogmas Day Trace. Also, I just wanna clarify a couple questions and comments about why we decided to buy all new furniture. So the reason is, is we originally thought that we would be downsizing when we moved here and all of those things. This house is roughly the same size as our New York home and it's laid out very differently and we now have three living rooms. So I have a formal sitting room, a living room, and then like a family like rec room. So that's why we needed so much furniture. I've only ever had one living room. So I didn't have the furniture for the spaces needed. And um, as far as beds and stuff, we have more bedrooms and we just needed more things. And then there are just some stuff that once we got it here, we realized we don't need it. I actually was just talking to my friend Lexi today. If you follow me on Instagram, I don't think I ever shared this on YouTube. In November, I went to Western North, well, we had been doing drives and work behind the scenes for Western North Carolina, but my friend and I actually went there in November. I wanna say it was like the Thursday or Friday before Veterans Day maybe. I can't remember exactly, but we traveled there and uh, we're able to take a ton of donations, make some connections with some places, some schools, some um, home bases within Western North Carolina, particularly the North Cove area. So I reached out to her today and I said, as we finish this move, all the stuff that we don't take with us to the new house, you are welcome to come and take and get it in the hands of people that need it. So that's what's happening with the furniture we're not using. And I just thought I'd clarify that because on the internet, there are always, always questions. Miss Mabel just came in and I am going to go close the door because it's still open and she doesn't know how to close the door yet. New thing you need to learn. All right, now I'll see you in a little bit. So I worked out and got cleaned up. Uh, I have packed nothing. <laughs> yeah. Just might not happen today, which is totally fine. Like I said, we are in no rush, but I feel like opening advent calendars. All right. They 
three is Reputation Era. All right, sing it with me. Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love, pour some sugar on me. What happens during Vlogmas is I end up with like all these little packets of candy. I've yet to eat anything from Sugarfina. These are red apple caramels. I've had these, I love them. Super, super good. Still no for Jo Malone, but I was watching Christina Barali and she was talking about 12 day advent calendars. And she said you could either start opening on the 12th or you could open one every other day. I wish I had thought about that. But we are just going to wait until the 12th. We are going to exercise our patients. Speaking of exercising patients, we have our nativity advent calendar. What day three is? <sighs> day three is Mary. And Mary seems a little tall for the inn. I mean, she fits in the stable. If you need to change a light bulb in there, Mary's your girl. She'll be able to uh, reach without a ladder. All right. That one was easy. I can handle that. All right. Day three of C's is over here. Sneaky. I wish they said that they were like on the packaging or something. Because I don't want to be surprised. I am weird. I don't want anything fruit flavored. I do not like like a artificial fruity, like a nougat -y type thing. It gives me the willies. All right, book three for our stationary advent. Ooh, this is actually quite nice. It is Oh, and it's real leather, you can tell from the smell. It is a like page marker with like a leather tab. So when you stick it in, you have this leather tab sticking out. That's actually really nice. It is heavy, it is like high quality. I really, really like that. All right, that is that. We will do Mabel's a little later. Let's see what Nespresso had for us. Steven actually had my hazelnut one. So we'll have to ask him how it was. Day three is down here. Orandio. This looks like a pretty light roast. So we will give that a try or Steven will give it a try. Whichever. Alrighty, let's get something situated and put back. See, this is what I was telling you about this table. In some light, it looks really gray, but there's actually like a lot of warmth to it. So I'm not too worried about it reading too gray. It's like a nice mix, but there is definitely some warmth. Alrighty, I have cameras everywhere. I'll save that for Steven. I'll take that up to my office. I am all cleaned up and I worked out. It's been a great Monday. Steven and I are actually meeting each other at the house at six, I think. I have to text him. He said he was just gonna meet me there and have been texting with some people and coordinating a couple things. So I have like a busy week this week. This week the move starts into the new house, plus Thursday night a group of me and my friends are doing some volunteer work at a local organization and going out to dinner, so we're doing that Thursday. Friday night, my mom, my sister, 
my nieces and I all got tickets to the Charlotte Tennis Tournament with Tiafo, Alcarez, Sloane Stevens, Madison Keys. So we're doing that, moving over the weekend. And oh, I was just chatting with Breathe at Home and we are still gonna pull off a little Vlogmas surprise for you. This is, I don't, <laughs> I just, I am so grateful and just life is so good. I was DMing with one of you on Instagram. Also on Instagram, it's so much easier to connect there than the comment section here. So always go over to my Instagram. All that information is in the description box. But someone said, uh, oh, like the old Christopher is back. And I actually said, oh yeah, I definitely feel that. But actually I think there it's like a new and better Christopher. I have never been more confident and happy and content and stress-free and relaxed that even when something does get difficult or challenging or doesn't go according to plan, I have so much clarity around my values and all of the things that make me who I am that I just navigate it in a way that's different than in the past. And that's so refreshing. I was watching Christina Brawley's Vlogmas and she's kind of entering that stage of life as well. I don't know if it's getting older and maturing. I think a huge part of it is um, definitely me breaking old habits and repeating cycles and putting myself in environments that didn't serve me and in relationships. And I think getting out of that has really shifted this, but, but the last little bit of time I've been taking care of that stuff and really looking forward to what will be a crazy week. I also <laughs> texted some of my friends and I told them that I picked these up for them. We all have like a love for Fraser fur and this is the best in the business. Alrighty, I don't know what Steven and I will end up doing for dinner for going to the house. We might just grab something while we're out. All right, friends, it is about 4.30 and I wanna get this finished, um, edited and uploaded so that I can go meet Steven at the house, probably go out to dinner or something and get to bed early because I go back to work tomorrow. So I will see you all. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Also comment if you saw Martha. I tried to get her in the shot a couple times, but this uh, new camera also blurs the background. So it might be tricky, but she was present. Um, but take care of yourself. Bye-bye friends.